Emma E. Booker Elementary School was the center of much preparation and anticipation Tuesday morning in readiness for the arrival of a very special guest. President George W. Bush, Jr. was expected to premiere his national reading initiative at the local five-star school, where reading ability has improved over the last three years. He chose Emma E. Booker Elementary for its exemplary direct instructional reading program, where a teacher delivers the basic skills and components for reading comprehension that children need to be successful readers. However, Emma E. Booker Elementary became a part of history for a very different reason. Before the program could begin, at 8.42 a.m., the South Tower of the World Trade Center in New York City was struck by a commercial airliner hijacked from Boston's Logan International Airport. Approximately 18 minutes later, a second domestic jet airliner took dead aim at the North Tower of the World Trade Center and disintegrated on impact. The unfolding crisis would overshadow any celebration of reading achievement and forever change the happy face of that day. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. I have brought with you to be the most wonderful guest. Would you please stand and recognize the President of the United States? Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Good morning. 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 Good I know. Good to meet you all. That's good. You okay? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, sit down, please. Thank you for standing up. Good to meet you all. Really excited for me to be here. I want to thank Ms. Daniel for being a teacher. I thank Ben for being a principal. I want to thank you all for practicing reading so much. Really, it's really important. No. No. Read this word the fast way. Get ready. Ah. Yes, F. Read this word the fast way. Get ready. A. Yes, H. Get ready to read all the words on this page without making a mistake. Read this word the fast way. Get ready. Mad. Yes, mad. Get ready. Cap. Yes, cap. Get ready. Can. Yes, can. Get ready. Can. Yes, pan. Get ready to read these words the fast way. Get ready. Pain. Yes, pain. Boys and girls, you're going to read these words again. Remember what you say when there's an E at the end of the word. Get ready. Pain. Yes, cane. Get ready. Pain. Yes, can. Get ready. May. Yes, may. Give yourselves a pat on the back. Yeah. <laughs> okay, get ready to read the words on this page without making a mistake. Everybody, tell me what this part of the word says. Rob. Yes, Rob. Now tell me what the whole word says. Get ready? Robber. Yes, robber. Everybody tell me what this part of the word says. Run. Yes, run. Now tell me what the whole word says. Get ready? Running. Yes, running. Get ready to read these two words the fast way. Get ready? Robber. Yes, robber. Get ready? Running. Yes, running. Good job. Boys and girls, read this word the fast way. Get ready? Smile. Yes, smile. Sound it out. Get ready? Smile. What word? Smile. Yes, smile. Read these words the fast way. Get ready. Smile. Yes, smile. Get ready. More. Yes, more. Get ready. Light. Yes, light. Get ready. Light. Yes, light. Get ready. No. Yes. Look at the letter at the end and remember the sound. Plain. Yes, plain. Get ready. Must. Yes, must. Go to go speak your reader up from under your seat. Open your book up to lesson. 60 on page 153. <laughs> At the count of three, everyone should be on page 153. If the yellow paper is going to bother you, drop it. Thank you. Everybody touch the title of your story. Fingers under the title. Get ready to read the title the fast way. We're waiting for one member. 
<laughs> Thank you. Fingers under the title of the story. Get ready. The pet goat. Yes, the pet goat. Fingers under the first word of the story. Get ready to read the story the fast way. Get ready. A girl had a pet goat. Go on. She liked to go running with her pet goat. Go on. She played with her pet goat. Try it again. Get ready from the beginning of that sentence. Get ready. She played with her goat in her house. Go on. She played with her goat in her yard. Good job. Go on. But the goat did something that made the girl sad. Let's clean that up. Get ready. Try it with butt. Get ready. But the goat did something that made the girl sad. Mad. Go on. The goat ate things. Go on. He ate cans and he ate cans. Try that again. Get ready. He ate cans and he ate Go on. E -A -N -N -E -A -N. Go on. E -A -N -N. Try that again. Get ready. E -A -N -N -E -A -N -N. Good job. Go on. One day her dad said that go must go. What's behind the word said? Comma. And what does that comma mean? Slow Let's read that sentence again. Get ready. One day her said that go must go. Go on. He is too many. Try that again. Go on. He is too many. What is that word? E. Sound it out. E. What word? E. Start from the beginning of that sentence. Go on. He is too many things. Go on. What's behind the word said? Comma. And what does that comma mean? Slow Let's down. read that sentence again. Go on. Let's start from the girl. The girl said that if you let the girl say with us, I'll see that she's not eating all the things. Nice and loud, crisp voices. Let's go. Her Gentlemen, this is a difficult moment for America. I um, unfortunately will be going back to Washington after my remarks. Secretary Brad Page and Lieutenant Governor <clears throat> will take the podium and discuss education. I do want to thank the folks here at, uh, at the Booker Elementary School for their hospitality. Uh, today we've had a national tragedy. Two airplanes have crashed into the World Trade Center in an apparent terrorist attack on our country. I have spoken to the Vice President, 
to the governor of New York, to the director of the FBI, and have ordered that the full resources of the federal government go to help the victims and their families and, the, and to conduct a full-scale investigation to hunt down and to find those folks who committed this act. Terrorism against our nation will not stand. And now if you join me in a moment of silence. May God bless the victims, their families, and America. Thank you very much. Uh, based on the events that happened today, and I guess the, t the untimeliness of them, or the timeliness of them, that this is a, a teaching opportunity, that we're going to use it as just, just as that, that there are random acts of kindness that people sometimes display, and sometimes there are random acts of violence. And so what is it, and how does it look, and um, who are the people that are affected by it, that um, it's an opportunity. And I'm hoping that it is used just as that, as a teaching tool, that he was here. And as the President of the United States, he had some very difficult decisions to make. Um, and even though he was here on campus, this was a very small piece of what his responsibility is. He's president over all of the United States. And so he was here, it was an event, it was a piece of history, and no matter how much time it was or was not, um, Emma E. Booker has still gone down as a piece of that history. Wonderful. Thank you. I appreciate it.